Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta. And today we will understand methods to improve the measurement model. Methods to improve the model fit indices. There are three methods. The first one, standardized regression estimates, also known as the factor loading. Second, using the modification indices. Third, the standardized residual covariance. The first step that is improving the model based upon the standardized regression estimates, also known as a factor loading. Standardized regression weights are often denoted by the Greek letter beta. They are use, uh, usually displayed in a path diagram or in table along the side, the unstandardized regression weights, often denoted by the Greek letter gamma. The standardized weights can be useful for comparing the relative importance of different variables in the model and for assessing the strength and direction of the relationship. Any item that is measured variable whose loading on the factor is less than 0 0.5, 0 0.5 should be removed. Let's see in MS. We are having the construct agent which we have measured with the help of four items. We are having loyalty which we have measured with the help of seven items. Value has been measured with the help of three items. Company, four items. Now click here on the analysis properties output make sure standardized estimates and squared multiple correlations are on now click here on calculate estimates now you will go here in view text please note down the model fit here it is 4.924 it is on the higher side we want to correct this number we want to bring it nearer to 3 now the first method go in estimates and check the standardized regression estimates that is a standardized regression weights any item whose standardized regression weight is less than 0.5 you will have to identify it so you can see here loyalty 7 the item number loyalty 7 loaded on loyalty its value is less than 0.5 now when i will delete it definitely this model fit will this value will decrease and we want that how we can do this? Let's go in the canvas. Loyalty 7 is there. I will remove it. I'll remove it from here. Fine. Now, again run calculate estimates. View text. Click on model fit. It will not run. The, the reason is, let's go back on the canvas. Why it will not run? We have not set any metric here and that's the reason it will not run. So what I'll have to do is I'll double click here, click on parameters, take regression weight as one and run it again. Now view text, done. Check the model fit. From 4.92, it has decreased to 4.744. So this is a first way in which we can improve the model fit indices of the measurement model. Moreover, you can keep the track of NFI, RFI, IFI, IFI, TLI and CFI also. They will also definitely improve. That will, That is, they will go on higher side and this will go on the lower side. This is what we want. The next step, that is improving the model using model modification indices. So this is the second step. Improving the model using modification indices. Modification indices are a statistical tool used in structural equation modeling to identify the potential improvements to a model by suggesting specific modifications. MIs are calculated based on discrepancy between the observed covariance matrix and the model implied covariance matrix. A modification index, index is calculated for each parameter in the model and represents the expected reduction in the chi-square statistics associated with including or excluding that parameter. So the first point is the model may be need to be modified in order to improve the fit, thereby estimating the most likely relationships between the variables. Modification indices guides you for the minor modifications. The second thing is modification indices reports the change in chi-square value. This we will see. Modifications that improve model fit, fit may be flagged as potential changes that can be made to the model. Now, there are some golden rules while using the modification indices. There are some rules which we have to follow. You can see here that we have connected E1 and E3. 
Considering the modification index is number, we have connected E1 and E3. This is acceptable because these are the error terms of the same factor. Similarly, you can connect E5 and it's E6 because these are the error terms of the same factor. What is inacceptable is you cannot connect E1 with E4 because these are the factor term, these are the error terms of different factor. Similarly, E2 and E6 cannot be connected because they are the items of the different factors. You cannot connect items with items. Uh, you cannot connect items with items. So this is also not acceptable. You cannot connect error term with the factor. So these three things are inacceptable. This is acceptable. So the golden rules are modification indices less than 20 should not be used. More than three parameters should not be connected to avoid overfitting. Parameters can be connected only in permissible way, which we have discussed in the previous slide. So the first thing is we will have to run the, uh, run the model in MS and you will go in analysis property, make sure that you click on output and the modification indices is to be activated. We know that less than 20 should not be considered. So here I am writing the figure 20. Fine. Let's run it. View the text. Now go in the modification indices. You can minimize it. You can minimize this just a minute. So that I can explain you here. Now see. E the E4 and E17. E4 and E17 cannot be connected. Why? Because they are the error terms of the different construct and that is not permissible. Right? What is the whole concept? Let's try to understand. This is the number for modification indices. If I connect, if I connect this E6 and E7, my chi-square value will decrease by 83 and then it will give me the good model fit. This we will do practically. But first we'll understand the golden rules. The first is E4 and E17 cannot be connected. E4 and E15, E4 and E15. Yeah, it cannot be connected. E2 and E15, E2 and E15 cannot be connected. E2 and E4, E2 and E4 is possible. Moreover, E6 and E7 is also possible. Now, out of this two, E6 and E7 and E2 and E4, when I connect E6 and E7, my chi-square value will decrease by 83 and therefore I will always go for this one, right? So I, uh, what are the things which are permissible? Let's see. If I want to covariate, what I'll do is I'll connect this with this. This is permissible, right? One. Now what is not permissible? I cannot connect the error terms of different construct. I cannot do this. This is not permissible. One. The second thing is I cannot connect. Uh, I, sorry. I cannot connect the error term with the construct. This is not permissible. So you will have to be very careful. Moreover, modification indices less than 20 should not be considered. Maximum modification which you can carry out is only three, which means that one, two, and three right so only three modification uh, that is a model can be modified only three times not more than that now let's go back and view the text and check which modification indices i will go for so it is 83.854 okay when i connect e6 with e7 that is i when i co-vary e6 and e7 together my chi-square will reduce by 83.854 Okay, go in notes for the model. At present, my chi-square is 464.918. Kindly note down. My chi-square value is 464.918. When I'll connect E6 with E7, this number will definitely reduce by 83. Uh, let me check. It will definitely reduce by 83. Now, what will be the repercussions of this? See, when the chi-square reduces here, when this number reduces, the numerator, divided by the degree of freedom 
and when it is c minimum by degree uh, by degree of freedom as this number has reduced this will definitely reduce so in the first modification from 4.9 uh, sorry in the first improvement from 4.92 we came to 4.744 now let me connect e6 with e7 how can i do this i'll keep up i'll co this e6 with e7 i'll connect this done so it's not visible we can what we can do is we can just make it bigger e6 and e7 are connected done now let us run the model again view text go in the model fit uh, sorry notes for the model can you see here all of you it has reduced by 83 now just see the model fit you see this number it has reduced okay it has again reduced from 4.7 it came to 3.829 so this is the way you can uh, include the modification indices in your model so this was your second step now the third step which is standardized residual covariance standardized residual covariances are typically expressed in terms of standard deviation they indicate the degree to which the observed covariance between the two variable deviates from the expected covariance based on the estimated model. A standardized residual covariance of zero suggests that the observed covariance matches the expected covariance while a non-zero values indicate the discrepancies. Any variable which is having a value more than 0.4 should be deleted. Okay, let's see. We'll again go in MS. View the text, go in matrices, and we will go in standardized residual covariance. You can see here that the, the number of the law the standardized residual covariance for loyalty 4 quite high 1.485, 1.261, 1.256. This is quite so. This is a problematic. Moreover, loyalty 1 is also having the number very high than 0.4, it is very high. So this too can be the potential items which can which are creating the problem. Now there is another way to detect this, the items which are sources of problem. What you can do is we are having the plugin of Professor James Gaskin, or rather it is an Excel sheet. Excel sheet. It is not a plugin. It is an Excel sheet. From where you can download it? Just a minute. I will give it this. Okay. Yeah. So you can download the Excel sheet from here, resources, click on it, and you will get this stats tool package. Now, what you will have to do is you activate the fit check from here. Fit check. Okay. Make sure fit check is on. Just a minute. Yeah. Now, what you will have to do, you go in standardized residual covariance from here. Right click on it, copy and paste it in E1, control V. Now press this step and it has given you that the problem child is loyalty 5 is the biggest problem. This item is the biggest problem. So if you remove this, then possibly your model fit indices will remove, will improve drastically. Okay, so let's go back. And we'll remove loyalty 4. So remove it, remove it. And again, run the model. Go in the analysis property. Uh, the model is probably unidentified. No need to worry. Possibly you must have uh, guessed the error which can be there. The error is we'll have to keep one. We'll have to set the metric here. Okay. So when I'll keep the one metric here, and I'll again run it. Now the error will not be there. Fine, quite good. Let's see in the model fit. 4.092. So it has reduced. And this is quite good. Moreover, you can keep the track of NFI, RFI, IFI, TLI, and CFI. So this also have improved. This is the third method of improving, of improving the fit indices. So you can also keep the summary that in the first step, 
uh, what was your C minimum and what was your original, the base model 4.924. When you remove loyalty 7, the uh, model improved to 4.744. When the modification index, that is when you connected E6 with E7, that is you co-vary E6 with E7, again it reduced by 3.829. When loyalty 5 was, re uh, was removed on the basis of standardized residual covariance, again the model is 4.092. So you can stop here where it gives the best model 3.829. So this is a way to improve the model fit indices using this three method. For more videos on SPSS MS, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos on SPSS MS.